Alright, so I've added a bunch of new colors for Lockup, Clash, and Blast, um, and in particular uh, what I'm calling Compound Colors, which are actually, it's a mix of two colors, um, depending on the effect you choose, um, and they're based on the film, so um, you can still do white, um, which is what has always been in the library, but now there's also going to be the prequel Compound Color, the original trilogy Compound Color, the sequel trilogy compound color and an animated series um, and in the library I give some screenshots that these are based off of um, now the colors it the color of your blade will affect it a little bit so um, if you have different color blades particularly blades that are like yellows and oranges and golds um, some of these effects might wash in um, so you want to keep that in mind um, but with just a blue blade or a green blade or a red blade um, these seem to work pretty well um, so this first one this is going to be the prequel colors um, so you can see the blast. It's going to have a kind of a gold-orange color. And there's actually two colors overlaid on top of each other. So the center is going to be a brighter color and the edges as if the aura are actually the more uh, orangey-yellow. So that's your blast, your clash, and then your lockup. And the begin lockup and end lockup also have that color mixed in, so it gives you kind of uh, the more prequel color. Uh, Skywalker. And then this is going to be the original trilogy. So in the original trilogy, it was a really dull yellowish color. Um, and again, you can look at the reference materials. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more close to white, particularly um, some of the blast effects because they're so fast. But it has, again, a compound color where it's a lemon chiffon with a background color with it so that's going to be your blast your clash and then your lockup um, so that's the original trilogy now the sequel trilogy um, is really white um, in almost all the references um, particularly the force awakens uh, in the forest um, but I added a little bit of a, a I added azure as the background color um, it has a slight blue tint now on this blade it actually won't show up as much just because it's a blue blade but on like green and red blades you can get that little bit of a blue tint um, and it's really just to differentiate it from a straight white effect um, so this will be your blast your clash and then your lockup. Um, and obviously you can choose the different effects. So there's different blasts, different clashes, and all that. So the effect would be different, but the colors would be the same. Um, and then lastly... I think I can this is going to be the animated series. And the animated series is really close to the prequels. I just added a little bit more of an orange color, and I changed the upper color um, to a moccasin. Um, just based on testing, just to give it a, a little bit of a difference. Um, so here's your blast. Um, clash. And then your lockup. So, um, and of course you can always change the colors. Um, in particular, blast, I actually have a bunch of other colors uh, along with some other compound colors in the library that you can now choose. Um, but uh, I just wanted to put out the main ones, which are going to be the film-based ones. Um, so you can, of course, keep using white. You can customize an editor and change them any way you want. Um, but if you want to get these compound colors, which are really two colors overlaid together, um, you can now choose between the prequel, the original, the sequel, and then the animated series. Um, so those are now options within the library. Um, so hope you enjoy.